It's been eight months since the tragic school shooting in Parkland, Florida. 17 people were killed at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Since then, some of the teenage survivors have been busy lobbying lawmakers to try to change gun laws. They also just released a book called Glimmer of Hope. Take 5's Angela Russell got a chance to sit down with David Hogue, Alex Wind, and Jamal Leamy as they visited Seattle. I hope that people realize that on February 14th, we didn't gain all this power. We didn't all of a sudden like become these people that could immediately, immediately do everything. What happened on February 14th after the shooting, we learned that we'd always had this power. We just stopped waiting for somebody else to go out there and stand up against violence and injustice. You know, so many people want to take our movement as something completely different. You know, gun grabbing and, you know, anti-Second Amendment and liberal agenda where this is not what we are. We are high school students that survived a tragedy that don't want to see other students go through that. You know, what happened on February 14th is something that happens in this country monthly, and it's sickening. And we need to step up, and we need to say, you know, we're not here to try and take your guns away. We're not here to try and repeal the Second Amendment. We are here to try and save people's lives. We're here to prevent gun violence. Jamal, what is it exactly you all are pushing for right now? We have to treat gun violence as, you know, public, a public health crisis. This isn't a partisan issue that, you know, wanting to actively save lives isn't partisan. It's something that we can all come together. What do you think the most responsible thing lawmakers can do would be? Because you say, like, it's not a partisan issue. It really is about no. protecting lives. Yeah. So what is the responsible thing to do? To represent their constituents. I think when you're a lawmaker, a politician, um, your constituents put so much hope in, you know, they put so much hope into, you know, your ability to deliver. Mm -hmm. And what we've seen time and time again is that this isn't the case. And one thing that politicians here in Washington State, for example, could do to address the massive suicide epidemic, not just here, but across America, uh, is to institute a waiting period for gun sales because a lot of people that are going to kill themselves, uh, it's a very split second decision in a moment of crisis. Mm -hmm. And what they do oftentimes is go out and buy a gun and then kill themselves and you can't be brought back from that. Yeah, what have been some of the lessons along the way in activism? Take care of yourself. That's the biggest thing. Activists burn out really quickly because like something galvanizes you and you just put your all into it. And at, at one point you realize that you've put your all into something and you have not much left for yourself. I think for me, the biggest thing that I've realized, it's the fact that the most dangerous thing to young people isn't any one politician or any one policy. It's the belief that we can't go out and make change ourselves.